so you guys i might not be uploading this as a vlog i don't want to make it a vlog i just want to upload a video a single video like this it's very short um this is one of the benefit of knowing how to sew you we have this superpower and this superpower is being able to make what you want at a very short period of time so now i have three hours to make something very cute for myself and the party is by 6 37 nigerian time 8 and now it's 3 30. you guys are just going to see me go through the process and do it but i won't be making it as a tutorial i just want you guys to see how i'm going to be able to achieve this a very cute outfit for myself in a short period of time less than let's just say less than four hours we are going to be making something together very quick and very fast you guys are going to watch me do the process here the process is going to happen right here right here i'm just going to place the camera you guys are going to watch me cut take it to my machine to join and bring it back so let me know if you've gotten your own superpower <laughs> because i have mine and i'm about to flex it right now <laughs> so you guys <laughs> let's get into the video <laughs> So the first thing I'll be doing is making my top, my beautiful cut together top. Now what I'll do is fold my fabric into two. And this is lengthwise. I'm just going to fold it into two and confirm the length. So I'll place the tape from the close edge of the fabric to the open edge to check the length. Now I have confirmed my length. I'll go ahead and fold this fabric into two again from the width. Now what I'm trying to do is I want to be able to achieve my center back to my sleeve length and that is why I am folding this into four and then I'll confirm if this is from my center back to the place where I want the sleeve to sit and yeah I got that and now what I will do now is mark my boss points from the close edge of the fabric I'll go down and mark my boss points you guys this is how you make a cut together kimono a cut together top It's very simple I have a video that can put you through so yeah i'll put the link of the video um on the description box below so you just watch now on that bust line from the bust line downward i'll just mark my round bust divided by four and then i'll add one inch allowance one inch for sewing my round bust divided by four gives you nine inches and what i'm marking is 10 inches because i added one inch so i'll just take the line to the length and create a curve for the sleeves very simple so like i said i have video that can pull you through on what i just did how to how to make a cut together top or cut together kimono this is how you make it you're cutting both the front and the back piece together that is what is happening here so now i am done with my top i'll just go ahead and cut this out so i can cut out the neckline Um, I lost the clip for the neckline. I lost so many clips on this video, but you guys just bear with me. What I did was um, separate the back piece and the front piece just to get the neckline. Now I'm about to cut out the facing for my back and my front neckline. And uh, just the same way I cut out the front neckline and the back neckline, that's the same way I'm going to be cutting out the facing. You guys will see me separate the front piece like this. This is separating the front piece from the back piece. So yeah. I'll place this on my fabric and what i want the what i want on my front neckline i want something that is um a little bit down like i want the opening to get to close to my boss line so that's what i'm doing with the facing too so i decided to cut the front neckline with the facing so i get the accurate measurement on the facing and um i'll just go ahead and cut out the part i need for my facing and yeah you guys this is how my facing looks like so this is not a tutorial this is just me showing you guys how i was able to achieve this beautiful two-piece and i'll put down the links of the video that i have created that shows you how to do all this and guess what my sister is about to shoot too so i think she already got this place ready before me and i have to wait for her to be done but i'm still going to do this like i'm still going to challenge myself to this so um i'm just going to wait like 10 minutes and then she's done 10 to 15 minutes and then i'm just going to start why the delay let me even show you guys the person that's about to delay me she's all dressed up she wants to be a flight attendant and she's dressed marvelous so 
So she want to be a flight attendant, and I don't know what she's about to do, but you guys see. Hi. See. She, so she's about to shoot, and she's about Wanting to stop to the... Work, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys this is the delay i'm talking about but anyways she's already looking good i'm just going to give her the 10 minutes yeah your time start now anyway. <laughs> So now making the shot, I'm just going to create a pattern first and um, now I'm going to mark the length of my shots. I'll mark that down on my pattern paper and um, you guys, I did not create pattern when I was making this. I just created this pattern now for the sake of this particular video. So yeah, bear with me. So um, once I was done marking the length, I'll go in by one and a half inch on the waist part. That's the top of the pattern. I'm marking one and a half inch and now i'm just going to mark my hip point and my crotch point and yeah i have like a detailed tutorial that shows you how to create a pattern for either shorts or for your palazzo so yeah it's the same thing so i'll put down the link like i said you go watch and in case you don't understand what is happening that's if you're a beginner you won't understand but yeah after marking my crotch point and my hip point i'm just extending the line to have an horizontal line and this is the waist this is the, the hip and this is the crotch and this is the length so what i will do now is i'll connect the 1.5 inch i have on the waist to the hip line before i divide my round waist by four and mark that down on the waistline and i just realized that this particular clip was not clear so you guys please i'm just so sorry but just try and enjoy this video just the way i enjoy creating it so what i also did was mark one inch allowance on the waist after dividing it by four and now on my hip i'll do the same thing divide my round hip by four mark one inch allowance on this and i'll go ahead and connect the points together that's the hip and the waist together like this and now i'll move to my crotch line i'll divide by round lap by four and mark this down on the crotch line and also add two inches allowance now I'll connect the hip to the crotch line with a curve like this i did a dotted method first before i connect once i was satisfied and i'll mark what i marked on my crotch line i'll mark that on the length because this is a short so yeah i'll mark that on the length and now i'll add the two inches allowance to um, connect the straight to the crotch line and i'll also add half an inch allowance half to one inch allowance and you guys this is the pattern for the front piece i'll go ahead and cut this out of the camera and then i'll show you guys how i cut my back piece so i have a detailed tutorial that shows you how to make this pattern if i included with the measurement you need so just go click on any of my recent videos and enjoy so yeah so i cut out the front piece already off the camera now i'm just folding my fabric into two so i can place my front piece and get my back piece so this is my front piece i place this on the folded fabric and i'm just adding 1.5 inch allowance on all points so yeah if you want to get your back piece make sure you have your front piece draft out already and now you can use your front piece to cut out your back piece very simple now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut out my back piece and you guys please let me know what you think about the fabric choice um i actually got this fabric for the series and i couldn't i wasn't able to use it because i just created four because i was only able to create four outfits so i couldn't use the fabric and now i had the opportunity to use it for this part that i had to go to so let me know what you think on the comment section about my fabric choice do you like my fabric so once i was done i'll take out the back piece so i can continue working on my front piece i need to drop the front waistline by one inch so that's what i'm doing right now dropping the front waistline by one inch and now i have to cut out my pocket fabric Once 
i have my fabrics for the pockets for the both side of the pockets this is what i'll do i'll go ahead and cut out the opening i need on the pockets and yeah like i said there is a detailed tutorial that shows you this whole process on this channel so you don't have to go far so all you have to do is just go down on my videos just keep searching and you are going to find either how to make a shirt with pockets how to make palazzo with pockets how to make boot cuts how to make they are all available just take your time and search on this particular channel and you will find so yeah once i was done creating what i needed on the pocket i'll just go ahead and i'll place each of the pocket on the piece where they are supposed to sit and then i'll trace out that um opening or that um curve i just created on the pocket making sure i place the fabric right side fitting right side and once i was done cutting out the parts that i don't need i'll just go sew in my pockets and then i'll join my back piece and my front piece together i'll show you guys what it looks like the results so yeah um this is my pockets on my shirt looking so pretty i got you guys as in knowing that i can be able to create beautiful outfit like this whenever i want to in less than two to three hours you guys the happiness is different it hits differently so i'll go ahead and cut out the fabric for the band also and then i'll attach this to my shirt and you guys after joining my facing to the front and the back piece of my top i just joined it together at the sides and that was it i'll show you guys the results in my voice i have cut that i think i've been stressed i really need to rest so anyways today is not the day i actually wore the dress, um the outfit the two-piece i wore it yesterday and i said i was going to show you guys the after look once i was done but we're hurrying me and my sisters were hurrying to leave they in fact they even left me my sisters they left me I had to go with the second badge <laughs> like the second ride they came back for me though her friend came back for me and my other friend but anyways that's not the gist the gist is that i said i was going to show you guys the after look and you know how i was dressed for the party but i couldn't do that i started to do that today and uh, once i was able to get myself i just had a good nap but i still feel bad I still feel not bad. I still feel somehow, but not bad. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to show you guys the after look right now. And, and yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys want to see me create this as a tutorial. I could do that. It Just, depends on the comments I get on this video. If you guys say you want to see the two piece as a tutorial, let me know on the comment section. And also, please help me like this video like the video give this video a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed if you're new just go ahead and subscribe i am sure you're going to like it here so why not stay <laughs> and that concludes my outro i love you guys please keep being creative and keep pushing yourself you never know one day you just turn back and you realize that you're already there and you do not know how it just happened all right Just to say